I'm Mark DiCoginis, and I'm the CEO of Boutique Group. Uh, we're based in uh, Saudi Arabia, and uh, we have the pleasure and the honor to uh, transform these uh, historic buildings and palaces of former kings into ultra-luxury hotels. And we'll be the first Saudi hospitality company in the ultra-luxury industry. So we want to send a benchmark globally for hospitality with Saudi Arabia. Mark, thank you for sitting down with Breaking Travel News here at uh, Arabian Travel Market. First of all, here we are, you can hear the noise, the buzz. Um, tell me, how important is, is this market for you? It's very important because, of course, boutique, we're focused on uh, Saudi Arabia will be our, our primary market because uh, the palaces uh, are very important to the Saudi people, but also the GCC will be our second biggest market as well. Uh, because we'll cater to the top 2% of the leisure and business travel. Uh, so they're very well traveled and ex expect the very best service. That's the key. But for us to get the message here, which is very important, the Arabian travel market is very important for the GCC, but also internationally as well to get us exposure into uh, Europe and, uh, of course, Asia and other parts of the world. So this is a great uh, platform for us to get our message. There's a great deal of interest, of course, uh, with Saudi Arabia overall because of the GIGA project. And uh, we're just a small part of, uh, of Saudi Arabia Vision 2030, but a very special part in, with Boutique because these palaces will reflect the culture, the heritage of Saudi Arabia and the people, the generosity of the people of Saudi Arabia. So uh, there's this beautiful mystique about Saudi Arabia to what is this and uh, it's so diverse and we hear all these great stories of the people. So as His Royal Highness said, Saudi Arabia is the success story of the 21st century. So come join us, don't miss it. So that's my message. Fantastic, and I, and I guess really to get a sense of that culture um, that, that Saudi Arabia has in a rich culture, yeah. obviously no better way than to experience that through the past but that you're reinventing for the future. That's right. It, it's really important because these palaces, each of them have a special story of the kings, the families, the guests they entertain. And uh, we really you pay attention to the detail, every detail of the restoration, the design, development, and now with the hospitality team to execute that service. But, uh, you know, we, our promise is you'll be treated like royalty, everyone. And everyone wants to be treated very special. So I think it's very important. And that Saudi genuine hospitality, they're the most generous people that I've ever heard. Of course, Middle East, I've been in Asia, uh, in Europe, great people everywhere. I think the Saudi people, their generosity extends like, it's just amazing how, especially with strangers, you know, as well. I heard a story from an Australian friend who was in business, and he was traveling just outside of Riyadh, and he had a trouble with his car, and uh, he, a Saudi uh, person came when he was there and said, here, take my car, and when it's repaired, come back. Who, who trusts people like that? You know, it's the Saudi people, this really genuine, sincere, you know, generosity. It, it's, it's really fantastic. It really is. And experiencing that is believing, isn't it? It's, it is. Yeah. And people are amazed. And the energy and the positive energy uh, in Saudi right now. Because we have many investors coming from different countries. And of course, uh, many uh, companies that are uh, in design, development, services. They're moving their offices to Saudi Arabia because there's a great deal of business for them. So not only in, in investment, real estate, and of course tourism. You know, everything to do with tourism is, is because we're booming. So it's very important to be there. But it's a great place uh, to do business. And everyone who travels there from other countries for the first time, they just you can tell they feel this positive energy and that everyone is behind His Royal Highness and the King because his direction is for the benefit of the Saudi people, for everyone to benefit and to get the message to the world that Saudi is, is open for the world and embraces the world. And I think that's a great message to give everyone, to be open and uh, welcome.
I think that's uh, because it's something that everybody's positive. I mean, you can, and there's action too. Of course, I think we have very strategic goals from His uh, Royal Highness. You know, we just exceeded 100 million visitors in Saudi Arabia last year, and that, the target was for 2030. So now he set a new benchmark for 150 million uh, visitors by 2030. But this is because people are, it's very easy to get visas to visit there for leisure and for business. And uh, I think that's the key. And we'll have much more connectivity, of course, with the GCC, but also Europe and other parts of the world. So it's, uh, it's really important. But the energy is just, it's just uh, exciting. Mark, I'm getting a sense of that energy from you here just today. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Come to Saudi.